Listen, I'm just one of those hairdressers that always has crappy hair on her day off and unfortunately, that is the only time that I have to film these videos is on my day off. Sorry. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming an empties video. I have not done one of these videos in such a long time. So you might be seeing one of these videos quite soon again. For those of you that do not know or for those of you that are new here, empties video is where I sit down and chat about empty beauty products that I have finished up. Did I like it? Didn't I like it? Why didn't I like it? And would I repurchase it? If you enjoyed these types of videos or if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. It is really, really appreciated. Anyway, enough is enough. I'm going to jump straight in and get into chatting about these empty products. All right, before I show you empty number one, I want you guys to hear this question and then answer it down in the comment section down below. How do you know that a product is a really good product? Okay, I'm going to give you time to answer that question and go. Are you, right? Are you answering? Are you going? Are you typing it down below? Okay, time is up. Let me answer that question. The way that I know that a product is real good is when I do shit like this to a product. It's when I cut it open so that I can literally use the last drop and literally stick my finger and scrape that last little bit out. That's how I know a product is really good. So I must apologize as to how this product looks, but it is the Event Hydrant's Optimal Reach hydrating skin tone perfecter. So this product right here is a moisturizer, it's an SPF, it's a skin tone perfecter. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a tint to it. I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. It gave my skin such a healthy glow. It has an SPF, it was nourishing and moisturizing without leaving my face feeling greasy or looking greasy. It didn't make my makeup look ashy because it does have an SPF in it. A lot of SPF products can do that to makeup. This one didn't, so for this, I'm giving it a really big thumbs up. This is a very good product. The next beauty empty or beauty product that I've finished up is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I think that is what it's called. Oh my word, I'd be so embarrassed if that's not what it's called. I'm gonna be real honest about this product. The only reason why I picked up this product was because there was quite a big hype around it saying that it's a beauty blender dupe. And to be honest, whoever came up with that was a liar. You are a liar, okay? But no, this is not, this is not a beauty blender dupe at all. This is actually a very firm, Sponge, like the Beauty Blender is a lot softer and I feel like the Beauty Blender actually blends out makeup a little bit better. Funny enough, like the reason why a lot of people find this brush intriguing is because of this whole little situation over here, like this little angle to the sponge. I personally hated this part about the sponge so much. It just, it felt really weird so obviously I couldn't use this side to actually blend foundation and concealer with because it would actually leave like little circles on my face so I would always have to use this part of the sponge and honey she is a beat the hell up so this part of the sponge um, had quite a bit of wear and tear to it I will be honest like <sighs> Price point is good. If you want to try it out, go ahead and try it out. But I, for one, will not be repurchasing the sponge. Empty number three is the Calvin Klein Sheer Beauty Perfume. Now, if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to link it up over here. It is a video of my perfume collection where I actually show this perfume to break it down very, very quickly for you guys. This perfume is extremely extremely fresh. It's a very clean smell. It's not exactly right up my alley. To be honest, the only reason why I bought it was because Clix was having a sale and I was like, yes, Calvin Klein. I want me some of that. Just 
don't buy perfume on sale unless you know what it smells like and you know that you like it. <laughs> Empty number four is a sample from the brand La Occitane L'Occitane. I suck when it, when it comes to pronouncing names. It is a sample from La Occitane and it is the Immortal Reset Overnight Oil in Serum. This product, I went in store and found out the price of this product and it is freaking expensive but you know what it is so worth it so this product is a serum that you would put on in the night time my skin looks amazing the next day my skin looks plump it looks glowy it's oh, i can't explain to you just how amazing it made my skin feel and what i really 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 liked about it is that it didn't break my skin out at all empty number five is from the brand moroccan oil and it is the dry shampoo for light toned hair so just like every other moroccan oil product this dry shampoo was infused with argan oil it is a little bit on the pricier side for a dry shampoo to be honest but when i read it at the back it says that this dry shampoo who absorbs oil, build up and odor and it leaves the hair instantly refreshed and clean, which it does. I really liked how it does neutralize any like odors and smelliness that the hair might have. So although I thoroughly enjoyed this product, would I be repurchasing it? Maybe, like maybe in the future, but it's not like, oh my God, I have to get this dry shampoo like right away. I feel like there's so many other dry shampoos on the market that I would love to test out right now. But if you are looking for like a really nice, bougie dry shampoo then go ahead and try this one out it smells amazing next up it is the thursday plantation tea tree and witch hazel toner if you have not seen my video about how i treated my acne i'm going to link it up over here you can go ahead and check that video out after this one of course so the thursday plantation range literally it literally saved my skin. I was battling with acne for a while and I'm talking about really aggressive adult acne. The tea tree and witch hazel toner I actually felt made such a difference to my skin. I still use it and I still incorporate it into my skincare. I love how this doesn't burn the skin. I love how it doesn't dry out my skin even though it is for pimples and acne. While I have you here and while I'm chatting about this product I do want to mention that this is a vegan and cruelty free product and also it is alcohol free. So this product literally just it ticks all the boxes for me and it's no wonder why I'm still using this in my skincare routine even though it's helped my skin. Empty number seven is from the brand called Eucerin and it is their derm Dermato? Dermato? Empty number seven is from Eucerin and it is their Dermato Clean Mild Cleansing Milk. Ooh, this was a really, really nice face wash. This is a really good product if you have dry, sensitive skin. This product is really nourishing and hydrating and it didn't leave my face feeling all tight and sensitive. I do not like face washes that do that to my skin. Also, what I really loved about this product is after using my makeup remover, this would help remove any like excess makeup that was left on my skin. I definitely feel that if you have sensitive and dry skin that this is worth a try. Empty number eight is from The Body Shop and it is their Sheer Body Butter. This product, honestly, even though it is completely finished, I can still smell this product and it is so good. It's so warm and delicious. So as the name suggests, this is a body butter. I love to use this when getting out of the shower, just put on my legs, my arms, just all over my body and this melts into the skin and it doesn't absorb instantly. I would put this on my skin and it would take a while to sink in and that's why I would actually prefer to use this in the night time so that while I'm sleeping it has the whole night to actually absorb and sink into my skin. The second to last empty is the Clix Charcoal Perfecting Nose Pore Strips. 
So this box contains six nose strips and if you don't know what this kind of product does, you basically put it on your nose, you wet it, you let it dry and it literally pulls out the blackheads out of your nose. Now I have read that some people don't like the clicks nose strips and when I got chatting with them they were using the normal one. This is the charcoal version and I do feel that this really gets rid of the blackheads out of my nose. I feel like this one you can actually see the blackheads on the nose strip. It is so gross yet so satisfying. This is so affordable. You get so many nose strips in here and it doesn't hurt when you take the nose strip off of your nose like I am such a sissy I don't like pain and this did not hurt me at all and it works so it's a win last but not least I know I have shown this on my channel before but but I need I need to show you guys something so this is the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage concealer so like I just said, I have mentioned this on my channel many times before. It's one of my absolute favorite drugstore concealers. It's really affordable. It's so full coverage. It just, mm, it is such a good product. My only thing about this concealer is, yes, it is affordable, but you do get a very little product inside of here. Taking a look at the packaging, you only get four grams of product, which, which is, you know, it is a little bit, it is a little bit of product, okay? So I would finish this product so, so quickly until the one day, I don't know what I was doing, okay? I don't know what I was doing. So here is a full size conceal and define concealer over here. And as you can see, there is this little thing around the opening can you can you see can you see there here is the one that is finished as you can see i somehow managed to take that thing out and do you know how much product was still left behind like i was still able to use this for a good three weeks every single day for well when i say every single day like five days out of the week okay so that's why i'm just mentioning this product again on my empties video and there we go guys that is it for today's empties video i hope that you enjoyed it were there any empties that i showed you that you have also tried out if yes then i would love to hear from you what they were and what were your thoughts on them if you have not clicked the subscribe button down below then go ahead and do so it is 100% for free. Anyway guys, until next time, bye!